Hello everybody, I have some free stuff for you to download today. I have uploaded uh, this cool asset pack of 100 plus pixel art assets uh, to each.io. Uh, maybe some of you remember I did work on this game last year, but then I switched to another project and so I thought why well, don't upload this old stuff for free because someone else might do a better use of it than I did up until now. So here you go, you can download all of this and use in your projects. 100% free. I think there are around 150 assets, animations, UI, uh, tiles, backgrounds, enemies, all the kind of stuff that you need to build uh, an entire game, basically. So here you go, you can download it here. You can see some preview images of what you can find inside, but this is just a small part of it. Here are some screenshots from the game I was working on using these same assets, so you can basically create something similar to this uh, by using my assets. Now, uh, I want to take a closer look what's what's inside and how the folder is structured, but before that, can you make, do me a favor? Subscribe now. Do I have to? Okay, that was embarrassing, I know, but who cares, maybe you will subscribe now. So in the zip file you will find the folder called main, and there you will find all the assets categorized uh, by different types. So we have backgrounds, so we have all the parallax background, basically this one, uh, split it in different levels so you can create parallax effect, uh, there are enemies with their animations. Uh, some other stuff like houses and things like that. Uh, we have some NPCs with all the animations, objects, different types of objects. And then we have uh, all the player animations. So we have attack, fall, idle, jump, run. Uh, this all uh, in a form of a sprite sheet. And we have tiles so we can build uh, you know, your platforms, levels and so on with this by combining these pieces and then we have some UI stuff. Okay, so this is all you got, and believe me, this is a lot of stuff. You can actually create an entire game with this. Uh, but I want to, for GDevelop users, I just want to show you uh, how you can actually import the sprite sheet to your uh, projects. So, so you don't have to slice all of those images. So let's just try to add a new sprite. So we just add a new sprite, call it, I don't know, player because we will import player animation. All right, add animation. Okay, we have already an object like that, okay. Player zero two, add animation. And what do we do here? We just go here in edit with pscale and then we can import here, just here. And here it says import rows images. And here you can actually import sprite sheet. So uh, what, do you, what you need to know is uh, what is the size of it of each image. So if we go to player and let's take run animation, okay, open, we can set it import as a sprite sheet. And you can take a look in the name of the file. It says 24 by 24. So this is the number we need to actually put in here. 24 by 24 and you see now your sprite is split in uh, uh, and then we hit import continue and here you go we have the animation fully working we have all the frames already imported separately and we spent less than a minute so we can click save now we have this animation done and obviously now you will need to set up your hitboxes, your points and all that kind of stuff, but at least this part is done. So apply and we have this animation already here. So that's cool, you know, uh, this is all you need to know and you can, you, you can start using this uh, asset pack. So yeah, have fun with this. Uh, thank you for downloading, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord server, and see you next time.